So what is up guys, it's your boy. In this video, I'm going to be exposing murder drones for shipping miners. I swear, the way this guy talks makes me question if this is an actually serious video. Hey guys, and welcome back to another, yet another murder drones video. Now we're going to be debunking, yes, debunking whatever the flip this is what the actual flip is this the, the reasons are so flimsy and cringe wants me to as a lot of people have said before wants me to rip up off my eyeballs out because how bad they are what the actual flip and here all right without any further ado let's get into this damn video so for anybody that doesn't know what murder drones is dude why would i be watching the video if i didn't know what murder drones was murder drones is a show about drones that murder each other that and sketchy relationships between teenagers and adults who's the adult here exactly yeah that's right murder drones ships teens with adults it's disgusting the main ship being 16 year old Uzi with 30 year old N. Okay, what the flip do you mean N is 30 years old? Could you please show me your evidence? Jesus Christ, that's a huge age gap. While neither of the characters' ages are actually stated in the show, N it's funny how he it's funny how he says this and yet he immediately brings up this so-called proof. N is at minimum 25 plus because in the show the murder drones were built before the worker drones, so he could technically be older than Khan, who is the oldest known worker drone. He's 50, by the way. What do you mean by this? How do you know this? Were you the one who wrote the story? There's no proof behind that statement of yours. The murder drones were built before the worker drones? How do you know this? Just because N was a worker drone before a disassembly drone means that he's older than Uzi? Come on, dude. Be realistic. What if they were built at the same time and yet because, you know, they were on different planets, they had different, you know different changes to them come on this is, this is absolutely ridiculous and the thought of a potentially 50 year old dude dating a 16 year old it's absolutely sickening you know what you know what what is sickening my friend the fact that you think uzi is 16 I'm sorry, there is no proof behind your fu this statement and your future statements about Uzi being 16. And later on, I'm gonna put my thoughts into it, but you said, like, you put up the definition of a T. And I'm like, dude, you, there's literally, like, you know what, I'm, forget it, forget it. I, I'll, I'll cover that in another part. As for Uzi, she was confirmed to be under 18 on the Murder Drones website. Correction, she was not. You even say so in that she wasn't even confirmed to be what it, it, the actual age. I'm pretty sure even Liam Vickers and uh, SMG4 specifically said that she, not actually no not them, but somewhere it is confirmed she's 18 and is likely around 16 to 17 years old. So it's been confirmed by the creators of this show that she is not an adult. She is a minor. You realize the age of consent is 18, right? This, of course, raises the important question of why the hell are these two dating? There's a massive age gap. I mean, it's... You want to talk about massive age gaps? Go to Fate Stay Night where... Saber is pretty much married to Shiro. It's not like N being way older than Uzi is integral to the story. It doesn't add anything interesting. It doesn't develop the story. You're right. It doesn't. You know why? Because it's not actually a thing. It's just that, for some reason, the writers chose to make him adult and they chose to ship him with a teenager. And you want to know something, folks? That right there is proof enough that they are maps. 
minor attracted person. The writers are map. This statement can literally be refuted by what I just mentioned earlier. It's been confirmed. And by writers, I mean Liam Vickers and SMG4. This is absolutely disgusting that you put SMG4's face over EDP. Bruh. They do all the writing. And to further add on to this, a few of the Murder Drones animators were screenshotted on Twitter following and shouting out NSFW artists that would later draw explicit content. Mind showing me the evidence and not shooting your mouth off, off about it? Please put in these links down in your description. I actually would be very interested to see if this isn't fabricated. Of Uzi, N, and V. Of course, the fans who make the Rule 34 and other degenerate sh**. <laughs> this with the fact that the characters are all robots and age differently than humans, which is the exact same argument that pedophiles use to justify Lolicon. You know, you see any similarities, folks? Well, duh, of course. Of course there's going to be some Lolicon artists on R34. R of course. I perfectly agree with you in this statement. I don't care how old these characters are. If they're this a certain age, they're, if they're underage, that's illegal. But the thing is, Uzi and N are not underage. So, with all this nasty stuff going on, what does it mean? Well, it means that the head creatives on the show, SMG4 and Liam Vickers, are at best indifferent to this kind of stuff, or at worst, actively support and promote it. Big YouTubers with young fan bases, we all know the drill. So, we have a show with a young fan base that heavily emphasizes teenagers dating adults, and a staff that actively promotes said dating on Twitter and on the show. So, with all that in mind, it's no surprise that the Merge fandom is filled with a rim with CP artists, groomers, and underage eaters. This leads directly into the next part of my video, where I expose the fandom, which is far worse than anybody could have imagined. The amount of rumors the Merge fandom is cultivated is unheard of. It has Roblox levels of predation going on in its Discord servers and Reddit subs. It's unreal how many disgusting people are in this fandom. I mean, every Discord server related to Merge runs I have investigated with more than 50 members has had minors dating minors, adults dating minors, adults drawing hentai of minors, and minors drawing hentai of minors. All of which. Man, shut the flip up about. Minors dating adults. Uzi is not a minor. Is illegal and disgusting! So, how has the Murder Drones team reacted to all this nasty stuff happening in their community? They haven't! Not a single action has been taken by SMG4 or Liam Vickers or any of the other people working on the show. You're right. They haven't. And you know why? Because they, there's only so much a content creator can do for about their community before it's just ridiculous. Because a fandom is autonomous, okay? We are separate people. And the thing is, fandoms are supposed to be based off, are supposed to be reflections off of each person, if you haven't noticed already. Now then, the thing is, we, content creators cannot be bothered with their R34, or else they will be. They can be, because it's it's in the copyright. I forgot what it's called, but the thing is, if it's illegal, it's not up to them that to enforce their laws because they are not involved in that BS. Instead, it's up to us, the vigilantes, and the actual law enforcement to enforce the law. Because there's nothing a content creator can do about a, their community. The best they can do is try to copyright strike them. And even then, there will always be some stuff in the background, underground, doing that kind of crap. And, it's, again, there's, n there's not much they can do. Like... How the creator of the gotcha community has he, he's tried his best to try not to have these people not do inappropriate content. But the thing is, there's it's too easy to break the agreement that they he makes you to quote unquote agree to when each time you install his apps. There's nothing you there's nothing. SMG4 or Liam Vickers can do about this scenario. They haven't done anything about this. Everyone that has watched this video now knows that Murder Drones was created by Maps, has minors, dating adults in the show, and has a group of community of degenerates. With all that being exposed in this video, there is no excuse for anybody to continue supporting this disgusting show. And if you do continue to support this, you are either a map yourself or a map ally. That's all I have to say. All right, let's look at this other part.
Alright guys, I had to sit through multiple episodes of this awful show for footage and evidence against it. A like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. This wasn't easy even on 2x speed. I wanted to claw my eyes out with a spork the whole time. The show is awful. Uh, anyways, onto the video. Okay, now you're playing the YouTuber apologist strategy. Great, you're trying to get my pity. Oh, I feel so sorry. I'll completely forget about the slander you've tried to paint us as just because I like murder drones. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jimmy, coming at you with part two of my Murder Drones Exposed series. Dude, could you, d part, dude, could you stop repeating the same Drones clip over and over again? Are you trying to hypnotize me or something? Show. And on top of that, I'll be exposing Liam Vickers for doing some really, really disgusting things. Anyhow, on to the video. Segment one. Definitively proving Uzi and Enza ages. Okay, so a minor issue in my last video, just a tiny little issue, is that I provided zero evidence uh, about Uzi or N's ages. Slight oversight, but... Slight oversight, he says. I'll be fixing that here. First piece of evidence about Uzi's age. Okay, so my first piece of evidence relating to Uzi's true age is that she's referred to as a teenager in every single episode of the show and also on the website. And for anybody that doesn't know, the legal definition of teenager is any person age 13 up to age 18. That right there is literally definitive, unarguable proof that she is not an adult and that she cannot be an adult. If you have read further, my good friend, you would have known that the age of consent in pretty much 90% of the world is 18, okay? and. For clarification, a two-year age gap isn't that gr big. I've, like, what about 25 and 20? That isn't a big age gap now, is there? And that her relationship with N is illegal and disgusting. Bro pulls up Ohio, of all things. Second piece of evidence about Uzi's age. Flip this entire section because this entire, it's stupid, okay? She acts like a teen, okay? So w what if she acts like a teen? What about all of, again, all of anime has like so many characters that are like 500 years old and yet they act like kids. Who doesn't want to act like a kid? Come on. Third piece of evidence about Uzi's age. All right, the third and final piece of evidence is that Uzi looks like a little kid. I mean, she's tiny compared to everyone else in her class. This difference in size and maturity is made especially clear when we compare her to fully grown N, 20 year old N. Height means nothing. First off, what about dwarves and stuff like that? Second of all, the robots, I know that's a bad argument, but still, it's it's uh, applicable in this scenario. And three, bruh, we've forgotten the fact that teens have different, and people have different growth areas, okay? Like, what about N? He looks like a teen also, but he's also 20, so what about that? With 16-year-old Uzi, I mean... It just it doesn't get more blatant than this, folks. It's disgusting. All right, now that I've brought up some pretty rock solid proof that Uzi is a minor, rock solid my ass, and shouldn't be with N. Now it's on to proving N's age. So in my last video, we all know that I came out and said he was 30. I had no evidence, and uh, it was pretty stupid of me to do so. For once, you admit something, you said something stupid in your dumb video. But now, I do have evidence, because Glitch confirmed he is 20 years old on a live stream. You can find the live stream on the wiki if you want to sit through and watch that yeah, garbage. Yeah, and Uzi's 18, so what's the big hullabaloo about this? It's only a two-year age gap, for crying out loud. So with N and Uzi's ages both confirmed, I want to talk about their relationship in the show because certain Murder Drones fans will say they aren't actually dating and are just friends, which is completely false. It's false because they've done stuff that couples do, like Uzi sticking her infected hand in N's mouth, which I mean, 
is kind of weird, but whatever. And also saves Uzi multiple times like a knight in shining armor. Okay, I know Uzi and N are dating, alright? I already know that, but out of context, why would... Why would why would saving somebody why would saving your friend seem like it's has to be romantical for flip's sake come on they've also held hands and blushed with each other but I ran out of patience watching this awful show after about episode two beginning I'm beginning to run out of patience with this damn video for flip's sake you only oh, wait 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 you only watched up to episode. Two? What is wrong with you? So, you're gonna have to take my word on that one. I won't take your word on anything until you show me proof of what, what the other people said about these people promoting that, that other stuff you mentioned you about Twitter. I don't, I don't have any clips of it, because, you know, I just couldn't bear to watch this garbage any longer than I had to. Which means you have absolutely no proof. So with their sketchy relationship being proven, most people would think that the head writer of the show, Liam Vickers, is kind of a massive freak for having a 20-year-old date a 16, potentially 14-year-old girl in his- Man, shut your mouth on that. Uzi is 18. His TV show. And you would be absolutely right in thinking that, because this is far from the first time Liam Vickers has sexualized minors. Here's a screenshot. A screenshot of him bragging about sexualizing teenagers on his old YouTube account. Could you, pr could you prove to me this comment isn't fabricated? Pretty damning if you ask me. I mean, what a what a wicked and evil man Liam Vickers is. This is just disgusting and morally bankrupt. I mean, You've morally bankrupt yourself by al allying yourself with the UTTP. Liam Vickers and SMG4 especially don't care about what's been happening in their own community. Dude, as I just said, there's nothing they can do. Even the gotcha, the guy who owns Gotcha can't do anything about the the huge amount of crap that those freaks make on the YouTube and TikTok. There's a pretty big, uh, pretty big uh, grooming problem in their community, which they have done absolutely nothing about. I mean, they just have let this this problem of disgusting people. Dude, I am in like five Discord servers based on murder drones right now. And let me tell you something. I'm in like one of the biggest murder drones communities right now called the Murder Drones Basement. And let me tell you, there is nothing, no grooming whatsoever. Actually, somebody posted NSFW in like the wrong thread where it's, it was the un, it was supposed to be in the 18 plus section but it wasn't and he was rep warned and reported on before like he wasn't punished since this wasn't like this was his first major offense but still he it shows that the law is enforced in these discord servers i haven't seen any of these others but you can't paint every single discord server that is that has a large community is bad there's also these rumors of Liam Vickers doing other nasty stuff like drawing CP and grooming kids, but I couldn't find any solid evidence of that happening, so those rumors are probably false. But Well, at least you didn't have the odd audacity to say that these things were probably true because the other the other evidence quote unquote was probably also fabricated but what i've said previously it all it all still stands anyhow i'm ending the video here if it gets 30 likes i might make another video the only reason you got this many likes my friend is because you're backed up by a hundred trolls who have nothing else better to do than spam gore and other BS in other Discord servers instead of actually doing something about stuff like this. About murder drones, exposing the groomers in the community. Otherwise, I'm done with this stupid drama and I'm gonna be moving on to other things. Yes.
please do move on to more efficient stuff that is actually worth your time instead of spewing your mouth and thinking that it's actually good points for a video. You, I dare say it's almost like slurs in my opinion. Now, now then, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to go back to my actual life and enjoy stuff that are actually wholesome. Ne See you, and I hope you have a nice life. Gamer guy, out. Man, shut the fuck up.